Hi guys, how are you? Today I'm gonna show you guys like sometimes on if you are using Linux and Kubuntu and if you have some applications such as proprietary applications such as Adobe Reader and Adobe like BLC and many other applications you'll find if you open any file with these applications it will not show you any like waiting cursor like blinking cursor mouse cursor it just uh, you don't you never know when the application is whether the file is actually opening or you keep waiting for the file uh, I'll, I'm gonna demonstrate this to you guys uh, you will you will guys know what I mean so I'm gonna open a PDF file for example and I'm gonna open this with a uh, Adobe Reader so I will go um, dynamics so this PDF file I'm gonna open with uh, if I open this with ocular see we have got like a little waiting cursor mouse cursor it shows like so you have to wait but if you open the same file with the Adobe Reader it doesn't give you any waiting mouse uh, cursor so so you have to modify a little bit to get that working like to get uh, if you go system settings you can find the settings for that uh, if you go like uh, what's the behavior I guess now uh, application preference no uh, space a cursor theme yeah here you see you you'll find like this kind of waiting Mm, that's what I mean like when you open a file this should give you like until the file actually opens you should have something like this uh, waiting cursor so now it doesn't give anything because when you open the file with certain applications uh, open certain files with certain applications they don't give any waiting bars cursor so one way to fix it for example, this file is being opened with the Adobe Reader. We are gonna fix this particular problem for Adobe Reader. So the only thing we have to go, click root, go to the root, and go to the user folder and share and applications and find for the Adobe Reader and the file we need. This we have to copy this file. Copy and uh, we go back to the home folder and in the address bar click and uh, maybe we just go to the control and show hidden files and here we go local share applications uh, we are gonna do best so this will just copy the Adobe Reader in this folder now we are gonna open this file with a uh, Kate which is uh, like a text editor you can use any text editor so open that file now we are gonna change see you have you have this option like startup notify so you have now currently is false that's why it's not showing any waiting cursor so you have to change this to true to get the waiting and save the file now after this you made this change and tick the hard now try to open any PDF file now now you should get the waiting uh, cursor for if it's if you open with Adobe Reader did you see it just showed a little like waiting so now it's more user friendly and you don't have to you know bother something and there's a setting in system settings um, I guess somewhere in uh, default applications no um, accessibility uh, applications system notifications if you give here go here if you go launch feedback you see you can change actually bouncing cursors you can change it to like currently uh, it will wait for 10 seconds uh, you can play around this one will show taskbar notification and this one will show uh, balancing cursor you can make it to no busy cursor apply now there will be no busy cursor like before 
Now, if we go like a bouncing cursor, now we have this. So you understand the point, you get the point. So that's how you fix like if you have the similar problem like if you open a file with BLC and it's not working showing any busy cursor all you have to do uh, you have to go to the root and find the uh, appropriate file for the BLC and copy it to for example here copy the BLC file copy it to home folder show hidden files uh, local share applications copy the file here and open the file with the text editor and look for the startup notify thing uh, should be here if it's not there the line just copy the line from some other application for example Adobe Reader we are gonna open that and copy that file xkde startup notify and add that line here and save it and that's all now you will have a startup notification for the when you open a file with BLC you will get a startup notification so that's how you fix uh, the problem thank you guys